the Skylum Luminar has been designed to be as easy and as simple as possible to use. And in the latest version, the interface is simpler and more direct than ever. My name is Rod Lawton, and this is a video for Amateur Photographer on the Skylum Luminar Neo interface. So let's take a little look around the Luminar interface to see what's what and where to find the tools you need to edit your photos. So first of all, where are your photos? You'll see that Luminar has a catalog tab and over the left side bar, you'll see a bunch of folders containing images. Some of these I've added already and some of them uh, have been supplied by Skylum itself just for practice and training purposes. But here's how it works. If I want to add another folder of photos, very simple, click the add photos button, drill down into my folders. Here we are, here's a folder I want to add, click add. And as you'll see, Luminar starts adding the photos and generating thumbnails. So from now on, these are all stored in its own image catalog together with any changes you make to the photos, any editing adjustments, any effects and so on. So let's have a look at how those are applied. So I think I'll choose one of Skylim's own images. So how about this one? It doesn't look all that promising to start with, but it is going to show you what Luminar can do with images that, you know, you might think, well, I don't know, can I make this into something? Can I not? So let's see. First of all, you can take a closer look at any image by double clicking. So you get to see a larger version. But now what can you do? There are two tabs up at the top, one for presets and one for edits. So let's just have a look at the presets tab just to see what's going on here. This is this is a very quick way to apply some edits without really having to know anything or do anything. So up in the top right corner, we'll see that uh, we have some suggested presets for this image. So like, for example, we've got urban style. And if we click that, we'll see a bunch of other presets in that category. We can just mouse over these presets to get an idea of what they look like. So there's some interesting and very different looks there. But let's go straight to the edit panel to see how this works, because this is where you're gonna spend most of your time doing more serious editing. So now over in the right sidebar, you'll see a whole bunch of tools organized into categories. And you'll see as I click on the names that these expand or collapse. So you can see as much or as little as you want. So if I collapse all these, so that we start from scratch. There we go, even favorites. Now perhaps it's a little clearer. You've got a couple of favorites there. You've got essentials, you've got landscape tools, creative tools, and more. So that's how these individual sections work. So I will just mention extensions. You'll be aware probably that Luminar Neo can be used on its own, but it also comes with a bunch of separate extension modules that you can add if you want to. And if you want to see what's available, click on the extras button and there's a whole list showing you what's available and which ones you've currently got installed. But I'm not going to use extensions for this because not everyone will have them. Let's just stick to a couple of basic adjustments so you can get a feel for how this works. So up in the favorites section, we have two key tools here. We have enhance and sky. Now, if I click on enhance, the accent filter basically uses AI to analyze the image and automatically enhance it in multiple ways. And you can see the effect straight away and it's quite a transformation on this image. The sky enhancer just kind of tones down skies and makes them a bit more interesting. You can go too far, so let's just kind of keep it quite subtle. The sky filter, that is if you want to replace the sky completely. We're not gonna do that with this photo. We're just trying to give you an idea of what's where and how it works. So what else can we try? Let's have a look at the Essentials section. In here, we've got a number of tools that you might kind of want to use on an everyday basis. Uh, for example, we've got color. So for this image, we can just boost up the saturation a little and make it a much more, well, much more vibrant, sunny image. So it feels like we've got somewhere already very quickly. So as you can see, you can build up an effect by combining all these different filters and tools. 
you can use these tools individually or collectively, applying an effect using more than one filter or as many as you like in fact. So at some point you're going to be thinking, well what have I done to this photo, how do I find out? This is where you need the edits tab at the top of the toolbar. And as you can see, this shows what we have done. We've got the enhance adjustment we did first, and we've got the color adjustment we did afterwards. You can hide and show these to see the effect. And I can do the same with enhance. So if we now go back to the main editing interface, there's our image. Do we need to save it? No, we don't, because all the adjustments you make in Luminar Neo are non-destructive. They are saved in the catalog with the image. And we can see that if we now go back to the catalog view, there's our photo, everything we've done has been saved. How simple was that? So that's the end of this quick tour of the Skylim Luminar Neo interface, where things are and what they do. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and see you next time.